Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is a uh, video to talk about the power options in Windows 8. Now if you have a um, Windows 8 laptop or tablet device the power options are probably uh, one of the most important feature in Windows 8. Um, there are several types of power options that are available to all users and they affect everything from the uh, length of the battery time in your device, in your portable device, to the performance of the Windows machine you're using. Uh, one of the problems uh, with laptops, for example, is the fact that we will often put the uh, level of the power options into uh, more of an economy, an economy mode or in um, lower performance mode because it's going to make the battery last much longer. One of the problems with that is that if you are using uh, higher power applications, something that needs to have more power, uh, it can affect the uh, performance of that application or that program so your computer will seem slower and will maybe not perform as well as you might want and often it is visible because um, the computer will often have power settings that are dependent on if you're on battery or on the uh, power grid if you plug in your power adapter uh, a lot of people one of the questions I see very often a lot of people say well I plug in my power adapter my computer is much faster I don't understand. Is it because there's more power from the uh, AC outlet than from the battery? It has nothing to do with that. It has uh, something to do with the power options. When your laptop or your tablet is plugged in, the computer will often switch to a high performance level because it has a lot of power. But when you put a, uh, you, you unplug your uh, power adapter, then your laptop will go into uh, more of an, an economy mode where it wants to save power so that your battery lasts the longest time possible. So we'll look at where we can change these options and view all the different options available. If you go into your charms bar when you're on your start menu on the right side of the screen either by swiping once again from uh, right to left or if you don't have a touch device you go into the corners with the uh, right corners on uh, with your mouse pointer and click on the search there you will type power and the first option that you'll have in settings is power option that you'll see right here on the top power options that's where everything is affected by performance so click the power options and there you'll be greeted to this little window of the different power options visible now keep in mind each computer has different types of power options there are modes that you might view on your machine that are not visible on mine maybe there's something here you don't have on yours that could be totally normal uh, since each machine is very unique so um, here I had this little arrow on the right side that was um, hiding additional plans so you can click there to see additional plans whatever plan you have um, every plan has its own settings so here for example my laptop is one um, is on a plan called balanced and uh, which says recommended so it's the default plan for my laptop but if you click on the right side of that plan you see change plan settings you can click there and you'll see all the different options and there you'll see when your computer is on battery or plugged in the difference now it's going to tell you for example on battery you dim the display after two minutes here it says turn off display after five minutes put the computer to sleep after 15 minutes so these are different options that can be changed so if you click on for example dim the display you see that there's all these settings in minutes or hours for the uh, different settings one of the uh, settings that a lot of people get annoyed with is when their computer is plugged in 
they sometimes say, well, you know, my screen goes dark after only a few minutes and it's annoying. And it can be annoying when you uh, work on your computer and you just turn around for something. Maybe you need to, uh, to check or search for uh, something in, a, uh, in a, a book or whatever and um, you come back to your screen and it's dark and you have to, you know, move the mouse pointer. So you can change all these settings. So when you're plugged in, for example, you can dim the display after, I don't know, 10 minutes and maybe turn it off after 20 minutes or half an hour. It gives you more time when you uh, just are working at the computer and need to uh, check something and come back to your computer after 5 or 10 minutes. So these options are all there. Uh, of course, keep in mind that the longer the uh, battery life um, the shorter the display uh, needs to be on. So, uh, for example, on batteries, you might not want to change the options that are two or five minutes because turning off the display is one of the power options. You can also select the uh, adjusted brightness depending on when you're on plugged in or battery. So, you can have your uh, plugged in display much brighter than your uh, battery. And one of the reasons is that lighting of your uh, display is one of the major uh, power hungry features of your laptop. So by putting it dimmer, you do extend your battery life quite a lot. You can also go into the advanced power settings uh, a little bit at the bottom where you'll see more options uh, of the different um, power settings. For example, you might have uh, settings for the hard drive. Um, you have turn the hard drive uh, off after 10 minutes on battery, 20 minutes when it's plugged in. Uh, the different options of your computer, for example, your processor power management is here also. You can say, well, max minimum process processor state on battery 5% or plugged in 5% maximum uh, process processor state. You can change these options. If you lower performance of your laptop um, processor, you will of course get more battery life when you're on batteries, for example. But there are automatic modes. If you don't want to play with these options, you can click, for example, this setting here is recommended by Toshiba. It says, hmm, the echo mode saves energy. So you can check what this plan gives out and you see that on battery the display is dimmed faster. Um, you have um, also in the advanced settings probably some of the settings are set differently for example so the processor power management for example uh, here's five is it uh, still at 100 percent this is yes but you'll have options like for example the uh, different power settings and cooling methods, how they are uh, set up, and you can play with all of that. So um, whatever you are using, uh, keep in mind that it's always uh, nice to think about it in battery life performance. Of course, if you don't want your computer to have alter its speed, performance, there's the option of clicking high performance. High performance is your computer basically always being at the maximum speed and performance possible all of the time. But you'll see a big, big difference and a big drop in the length of your battery life. Uh, instead of having maybe four hours or three hours or five hours, um, uh, you might have that half of that performance because your computer is always running to the max. It does take a lot more power and you can also put it into a power saver mode where it's really the reverse of the high performance. Computer is going to seem slower, um, performance might not be that great, but you should see really extended battery life. Instead of uh, four hours, you might see six hours of battery life because you put it in a power saving mode. So um, my recommendations usually are to the fact that if your computer is always plugged in the wall outlet, if you never, never, never unplug your uh, battery, if you never, never unplug your laptop, 
uh, I think high performance is the way to go because you will always have your computer going to the maximum of its speed all the time you won't have to uh, you know cope with maybe uh, decreased um, performance or maybe a, a display that's gonna dim just too fast so uh, if it's plugged in all the time high performance is the way to go if you use your computer a lot on battery then I would suggest that you put it in power saver mode on the battery so that you'll uh, have longer battery life and um, you'll also have um, less performance though um, that's to keep in mind it might not show that much depending on what you do if you just you know go to the web and do some word processing stuff like that uh, power saver might not show much of its uh, performance problems but like I said if you like to use some options that actually require your computer to work hard then in power save mode you'll see that the performance is really 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 degraded compared to the high performance or the regular uh, mode and uh, whatever you choose your computer will always have a recommended setting so depending on what computer you have if you aren't sure uh, how you should set it up well use the one that says recommended and you're uh, probably doing something good you'll be somewhere in the middle between power saving and uh, high performance and uh, it's actually probably going to work quite well like that if you uh, enjoy our videos please uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. And uh, maybe you have a video or a feature of Windows 8 uh, that you'd like us to make and put online to show you uh, how to use Windows to the maximum. Let us know and we'll try to put that video online. And uh, you'll be helping others. Uh, often when people have a question, a lot of people have uh, that same question. So um, you're not alone if you have a question. And uh, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, it's our pleasure and we're here for that. And uh, if you have that new Windows 8 machine or you're planning to buy one, then take a look at our different videos. We have lots and lots of videos online showing you how to use uh, Windows 8 to the max so uh, this is going to be a uh, great channel to learn how to use your new machine or tablet or desktop uh, be it a touch or non-touch device we have lots of videos online to help you go through that brand new Windows 8 operating system so thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 bye bye